Vietnam has a problem. Aloha. Aloha. Alo. Chai. Um, and the problem is not uh, <laughs> Vietnamese pronouns. <laughs> God damn it. And no, the problem is not uh, is not the delicious food that you can order by grab. Vietnam has a motorbike problem. Now, don't get me wrong guys, I love motorbikes. I love the freedom that comes with being able to get on this thing like so fast, right? You don't have to open a door, you don't have to close the door, you don't have to like find a parking spot per se like you do with a car. It's so convenient. You can go in tiny alleys, you can weave through traffic, like I'm sure you're gonna see me do in this video. <laughs> it's mega convenient. I love motorbikes. I love that I can travel crazy distances with such a tiny little vehicle. I mean, look how small this thing is, guys. And I've driven from Hanoi to Saigon. Damn it, it's gonna start raining. Okay. Yeah, we gotta pick up this video. <laughs> But there's a problem with gas-powered transportation, guys, with motorbikes, with cars in general, and that is that they reduce, or excuse me, they uh, emit toxic emissions that kill you. I mean, guys, just, just like driving here, even with my mask on, I can still smell all the exhaust fumes from this bus. It's disgusting. Over 60,000 people in Vietnam die every year due to air pollution. That might not sound like a lot, but right, this tree seems like a good place for me to hide from the rain. Because I don't have a raincoat, so I'm just going to wait here for a little bit. Now multiply these disgusting fumes that you see by 60 million, which is the number of motorbikes that Vietnam has, plus more cars, and you get this. This is a problem. and. We're gonna have no choice but to fix this in the future. There, there's no other, no other way. It has to get fixed. All right, guys, let's brave the rain. We don't have much time. I need to hurry. Brave the rain. Okay. Ayo. Okay. Nếu bạn là một người Việt đang xem video này và đang hay bị tức bởi vì một thằng người nước ngoài như mình đang nhận xét về vấn đề môi trường ở Việt Nam thì bạn hãy bình tĩnh một chút và nghe mình nói mình biết rằng là mỗi nước phải trải qua một giai đoạn phát triển như thế này và Việt Nam không phải là ngoại lệ Mỹ, nước của mình cũng từng trải qua một giai đoạn như thế này cũng bị ô nhiễm môi trường rất là nặng ấy nhưng mà các vấn đề này chúng ta phải bắt đầu thảo luận ngay bây giờ để có thể hướng về một tương lai tốt đẹp hơn và bạn được xây dựng một ngày mai tốt đẹp hơn để có thể có một xu hướng và có ý thức hơn về cái vấn đề này nó là cái lý do mà tại sao mình đang làm video này Ok, so you might wonder what, what solutions are there? What can we do? Let's find out à, Anh em đi phố Khúc Hảo đúng không ạ? Vâng
What's up? Say, yeah, if you're at that corner and you wanted to film me coming down that corner, oh, I got bike you. To you. Nah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so uh, where do you want to hand it off? Somewhere more, uh, more remote. <laughs> okay. I guess we could go back over there. Here, just hop. Uh, I'll just hop on the back. I did. This is so cool. Welcome to my grab. Welcome to your grab, Keaton's grab. Yeah. Shoot, there's not a lot of room on there, on here, is there? Is there a, is there a thing in the back for other is? Yeah, there's a backpack there, but if you, uh, actually don't probably really need it, but. Oh, damn, this is tight. Right? Okay. I it's fine. It's interesting for two people. It is, it is a tight bike. Have you had people ride on this before? Yeah. Ooh. Is it rubbing on? <laughs> Damn, dude, this thing's so quiet and smooth. Like, until you get on it, you don't really realize, like, how smooth it is. Yeah. Damn. Holy moly. Damn, because, like, you know, with a normal bike, right, you feel, like, the, uh, the, 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 the motor. Yeah. Damn, I like pushing. <laughs> I'm heavy. All right. Dude, this thing's so sick. how do you want to do this? I guess, can you like explain a little bit to me about the bike? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's not what you know about it. If you show the plates, just block it. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Electric bike. This is the electric bike made. I don't know, like what developed, made everything in, in Vietnam. In Vietnam, right? Yeah. yeah. Parts, I don't know where they're from, but I know they make it in Saigon or the stores in Saigon. Oh, it's in Saigon. Huh? Oh, I thought it was in Da Nang. They, they, they so they started, it was a startup that started in Da Nang, where they uh -huh. did their first prototype. Yeah. And then they uh, they were on Shark Tank, and then they moved down to the south to Saigon. Or more specifically, Bing, uh, Bing Zil. Bing Zil, okay. And then so. The, yeah, that's where their factory and <laughs> development is. Okay. But they have an actual storefront out in uh, Saigon. Saigon. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, so electric bike, top speed is 100. No, sorry, not 100. 80. 80 kilometers per hour. Yeah. And then uh, max distance is 100 kilometers, and then you have to charge it. Charging it takes about three hours. So in this bag, I have the charger for you. Oh, okay, so there's the charger in here. Yeah, with the with oh, the grab jacket if you need it. Big. With the grab jacket. Okay, yeah. I'll use that in the video. So it's just this plug, normal household plug, and okay. this plugs in to right here. Just okay, so that screws off, off, right? Okay. There's teeth right here. Yep. So just make sure it aligns correctly. It should okay. go in like probably like this orientation. And then this one just plugs into the wall outlet, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, how do you how do you turn it on and off? Yeah, yeah. So right now it's on. As when you see the LCD on, it's on. Okay. So. So it's on right now. Yeah. Fully charged. Charged it last night. I can see. Yep. It has keys. This is the key. Okay. So. Lock, unlock. Lock turns it off. Unlock. Oh, okay, that's turns easy. it on. Does it does it like lock like the this part? No, so there's no Doesn't. bike mechanical lock. Okay. It's just strictly turning the bike on and off. Interesting. So So like what if like someone were to just come and like just wheel cut? it off? Yeah. Yeah. That's it's a problem, like, huh? Like so like right here, right? So since it's on, I think It'll it's like generally right? breaking that kinda of, like prevents it. Oh no. It but what if it's off? If so, like, it's off, you can just wheel this thing all the way down the street. Oh you can. <laughs> yeah, it's it's done. Okay, so that's a, that's a problem. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want do you want to ride back? To oh no, place? I'm just walking. Sweet. Well, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, man. That's yeah. That's I'm not driving for this week. So. Oh, you're not gonna drive the whole week, huh? Yeah. So well, I'll, I'll probably bring it back tonight, but I'll just I'll see what I can get done. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But yeah, man. Enjoy. Awesome. I'll be I'll, I'll let you know. I'll keep in touch like tonight. So. Yeah, yeah. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. Go like this. Go like this. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll message you on Instagram. Well. Oh, you want to switch helmets? <laughs> a little better. I mean, they're the same. Ooh. but just like having giving a spare in case you take take anybody else. Take a passenger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go around as a grab driver. To, to Shoot. Attach that. Yeah. Where do you where do you attach this typically? I usually just put in this carabiner right here. Okay, there's a carabiner down there. I was attached onto my on my backpack. Interesting. I feel like a grab driver now. 
Dude, you should run an episode where you just go around picking people up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was going to do that. Not now with COVID, obviously, but... No, yeah, just, like, ask all your viewers, like, hey, who wants a free ride for the day? Oh, that'd be such a and good you idea. you around picking up all your, uh, your viewers and stuff Oh, like that's that. a good idea. Yeah, offering free rides for a day for all, like, viewers. Yeah. And you just kind of have to schedule it. Yeah. Like, plan it out, but... Oh, and it just hangs here. Huh? Yeah. It's terrible, but <laughs> it works. Awesome. Cool. All right, man. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you for letting me use it. So, I should just push this button and it should turn on. Aha! Uh -huh. Does that mean it's on? Holy shit. Damn, that thing's strong. Um, okay, let me, <laughs> let me get ready for this. Damn, it just turns on and like it's ready to go, guys. That's my first impression is it's like, holy crap, this thing's quiet. It, there, there, I mean, there's no motor, right? So it's just literally a battery. It's like when your phone's on, right? Your phone's not making noise, so. Okay, let's, um. How should I film this? Let's see. Let's film my face with this, okay. Is this filming? Sync, sync, sync. I have a second camera going here with the phone. I don't know how this is gonna work, guys, but let's, uh. <laughs> let's see, oh my god, this is such a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's very quiet, except for when it's starting. Jesus Christ, that thing's sensitive. Look at this, I barely twist it and it just like starts going. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh my God. Ooh. Damn, listen to this thing guys, listen how quiet this is. Okay, the moment of truth, when I stop, damn, it just like comes to a stop. So apparently with this bike, whenever you let go of the, uh, not the gas, but the electricity, the power source, you could say, it just like engages a braking system. It's not the smoothest at the moment, and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but it's, a, it's not a bad start. Okay, sync, 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 sync. These two should be synced now, guys. Okay. Um... God damn, this thing is sensitive. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, let's let's just ride home first and I'll just like talk along the way. Ooh, God damn. This thing is so quiet. Okay, I don't, okay, that braking system's really weird. You don't even need to touch the brake, guys. That's so weird. What a weird feeling. Okay, it's not, so I'm, re I'm noticing first off, it's not the smoothest when I'm pushing the, it's quiet. But when you're starting, and I already mentioned this, it's really kind of jittery. And maybe you can see that on the phone. It does not engage very smoothly, I should say. Turn, the turning is very nice. Turning is very smooth. Whoo, damn, this thing's fast. Damn, it's so quiet too. This is so freaking cool. And now I'm, just, I'm letting off the gas or off the electricity and it just like slows down by itself. Okay, it's a little weird to get used to and it's not the smoothest on its braking. It has like a little bit of like a jump when you let off the power source, but Damn, it's kinda, kinda convenient. I'm not feeling like a sliding thing like Keen was saying. He said he's feeling it slide when, uh, when he's using a brake, but I don't know, it feels good to me. This footage is gonna be so fucking windy, isn't it? <laughs> God damn, this thing is so weird. It must look pretty cool though. Damn, this thing is weird. Ooh, okay. It is bumpy. Okay, this thing is very bumpy though. The shocks are not the greatest. Let's let's try to do a UE in here. Let's see. Yeah, this braking system's a little damn. It's strong. It's kind of convenient because you don't really have to touch the brake. It's almost like a manual bike, you know, where like on a manual bike, right? You don't touch the brake. It just uh, you just kind of can use the gears to help you slow down. 
Oh. Okay, it is a little finicky. Like if I if I let off the uh, electricity a little bit and then I engage it again, it does like stop. It doesn't it doesn't engage. I don't know how to explain it. Like if I if I pull it a little bit, but then like I don't release it all the way and try to pull it more, it won't engage. So there's it's a little finicky. There's there's definitely things to be desired at the moment. This is the first time I've ever ridden like an electric vehicle. I take that back. I've ridden like electric motorbikes when I was in China, but nothing like this cool looking and like this uh, fast. Damn, this thing is fast. Okay, let's take Winding P. I love this road. Woo. And this thing's fast. I mean, does the bike go with the... Okay, it does go with the... Okay. I mean, the bike is still on, guys, just to... Switch to this one. The bike is still on, guys, just to give you... I mean, it's so quiet. Something's not quiet with the... You guys hear that sound? This is when I'm engaging the uh, the throttle. That's the word I've been looking for, the throttle. It's making that weird noise. Oh, I guess other electric bikes do that too, because that was an electric bike. Maybe that's just something that just can't get around yet. But Tesla doesn't do that. See, do you guys hear that from like a gas bike? <laughs> Not with this, the noise pollution. Is it? God damn, that is annoying with the electricity though. With the throttle, like you you pull the throttle a little bit and then like... Once it gets going though, it's super quiet, god damn. Well, listen to this. That's okay, it's, it's like this clicking noise whenever I l release the gas here. I'm gonna release the gas, listen. That's a little annoying. I không say này là cháu mượn mượn của bạn để thử. Say này say điện đấy. Thú vị. Nếu là chú, chú có mua, mua xây điện không? Nếu là chú ấy Quá nè À không, ý là nếu mà chú có lựa chọn mua một cái xây xăng hoặc là một cái xây điện ấy thì Chú có thích đi xây điện không hay là Xây điện đi tốt Tốt <cười> Xe này của nước nào sản xuất? Nghĩa là Việt Nam ấy À Việt Nam Và nó gọi là đạt, đạt bách à. À, Việt Nam sản xuất ấy xe cũng cũng đẹp <cười> nhưng mà nó hơi vẫn chưa đến nó nó không mượt bằng xe xăng ấy à. nhưng mà nó tương lai chắc là phải phải chuyển sang xe điện <cười> bây giờ nhiều nước họ đi xe điện rồi vâng à, xe buýt với xe điện rồi à đúng rồi xe đúng rồi chính xác ạ xe buýt là xe điện rồi hoặc là tàu ấy tàu cũng là là điện kiểu tàu điện ngầm nhưng mà xe máy thì ít Giống như ở Mỹ thì bây giờ có cái xe ô tô điện của Tesla, chú biết không ạ? Nói chung à. là Mỹ nó có nhiều nhiều cơ sở nó để có sạc. Các cái, các cái chạm để để, à, để, vâng, để, 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 để sạc. Để sạc. Chính xác. Đây Việt Nam chưa có chưa có. được. Vâng. Cũng, cũng, cũng chưa cũng chưa tiện lắm. Vâng, đúng rồi bất tiện. Nhưng mà đường hết chứ. Đúng rồi đi <cười> đi 70 km này hết điện thì <cười> lại bị kẹt trên đường luôn. Chắc tương lai nó sẽ có. Hey guys, just for a quick comparison test, this is my my bike. So this is a Winter X. It's 150 cc's. Listen to how loud this is compared to the other bike. Now, I much prefer the braking system on this, <laughs> but and it's much smoother to drive. Clearly, the technology is much newer, 
or sorry, it's much, uh, it's been around a lot longer, so it's much more developed, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a lot louder. And like, I feel my hands, I feel, as I said before, my rear end, my midsection. I feel these, uh, I feel this vibration. That's every time I engage the throttle, right? I mean, the engine is like, it's revving up, right? So, I don't know. But the braking is obviously much, much smoother because it's, I don't, this bike doesn't have ABS brakes, but it is like, um, it does use oil for the brakes, right? So it's, it's much smoother. And also I have a clutch, so <laughs> if you guys can see my hand down here, I have a clutch, which uh, allows me to control everything much easier. The electric bike is obviously fully automatic, so. Just a quick comparison. The electric bike has a maximum capacity of like five kilowatt hours, which essentially like, ดาวนามิเซ่ไนติงเวียดเท่านั้นเลยเออเกี่ยวหมดหมดโซเบียร์ละบังหมดเคโลวัตต์เอาร์หมดเคโลวัตต์เจอร์ที่ไกเซ่
I'm not here to promote it, I'm not here to judge it. I'm here to talk about the technology, the future, and the environment, and where this is gonna have to go. Is this the future? Yes. I mean, this bike, I mean, god damn, for a first prototype, this is great. And I think right now, you know, the biggest argument for this is like, well, you gotta charge it. And like this bike, this bike in particular takes three hours to charge. And it can only go like 80 kilometers, 100 kilometers roughly, depending on your speed. That's not great. If I wanna travel like across country or something, like the infrastructure just does not exist, unfortunately. But in a place such as America, where Tesla is becoming very popular, I mean, just even five, 10 years ago in America, the infrastructure for Tesla didn't exist. You couldn't just like go somewhere and charge your thing. And you know, the biggest argument is gonna be like, well, it takes three hours to charge. But like one thing that, and I'm a physics major, so I feel comfortable talking about this, a battery doesn't charge like this, guys. It's not like you need to charge for like an hour and a half to get to the half, halfway point. A battery charges like this. So it can charge quite fast in the beginning. It's hard to get to max capacity, but it can charge quite fast in the beginning. And then it's like that last 30, 40, 50% that's gonna take a while. So, for example, if you could get somewhere and there were charging stations and you charged it for 30 minutes and it could get to 50%, Hey, that's pretty good because then you can go another let's say in the future with this bike in particular you could go 50 more kilometers but in the future with version 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 whatever you know you're going to be able to go 100 kilometers on 50 percent of a battery maybe even 200 kilometers right i think there's so that the, the the how do i say this the potential is there and i think you're going to see in 10 years i think this is gonna be a much more common option, so. Yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and please start thinking about ways you yourself can engage in protecting the environment. Maybe it's not gonna be buying a bike like this, right? I mean, I don't see myself buying this model yet because it just doesn't fit my requirements as uh, someone who needs to commute. But, you know, maybe don't order grab so much or, you know, bring your own utensils. Don't use one use utensils, right? Things like this. Start thinking about these things that can help protect the environment. And I don't know, maybe if you're someone like that bike or something, maybe, I don't know, start thinking about ways that you can invent and create tools that are going to be used in the future. So thanks for watching this video. That bike, if you watch this video, maybe send me a version two of your product. I would love to review it. <laughs> This video is not sponsored, but I hope the next one is. Peace. By the way, I gotta get a quick thumbnail for this video. I think it would be funny. I don't know if it's gonna work. Keaton told me that there's, <laughs> he has a freaking grab jacket. I'm gonna try to just put this grab jacket on and just have this bike look super cool and call this like the future of Vietnamese transportation. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna do, but I think it'll be pretty funny. Wow, this is actually, I've actually never worn a grab jacket. That's so interesting. It has this to protect your hands. God, this is so smart. I wonder if they sell jackets like this that I can buy for the sun. This would be really convenient. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get stared at so much, guys. I'm a forwarder wearing a grab jacket and a grab helmet. God damn. Alright, thumbnail time. How do I want to do this? There's a real grab driver over there. <laughs> Getting his bicycle with that. I don't need to get my oil changed. Okay, this looks pretty, this does look pretty freaking cool though, guys. Goddamn. Ah, oh man. Sorry, Ken, I almost dropped the bike. Okay, let's turn a little bit this way. A lot of work that goes into a thumbnail, guys. Let's see. This look like this, maybe? I'm gonna get looked at so much by people. A little bit of a higher angle. A little bit closer, maybe. Maybe this down. A little bit this way. All right, that's that's one angle, guys. Now I have to think of like other things that potentially could be interesting. Maybe maybe with this in the background. Okay, let's turn this around. So many things to think about, guys. It's all about thumbnail and title. <laughs> okay, guys, 
I think we got it. See you in the next video. <laughs>